Yo, I'm back once again. Second time now. Now I know I messed up before. Anyway, guys, this is AG4N97 here back again on YouTube, on my TV, on this game, LA Noir. Excited game. Kind of hope they make a new one. I know I'm not the only one. I'm sure there's many people out there. Don't judge. We don't like judges. But yeah, well, I was trying to do this before and then I. I got confused on which one I picked, and then I finally found it as I was just I was messing around with it, you know. Then I, I I changed some settings. I lowered down the um the music like by a lot. I lowered down the sound and the effects. I think it'll be easier to hear me because I feel like sometimes I'm a little bit too low, and I don't know because there's no one's commenting. But you know what? That's not me to judge. That is not me to judge. That means no one's watching, and I really don't care. Up, oh, marriage man, having to be quiet. Damn, he ain't coming back no more. He's done. You're dead, kid. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Let's go, my man. I love Powtowski. I'm pretty sure that's what your name is. Yeah, I want to make homicide. I know you've got it made if you can get to that task. Yo, what up, girl? My name's David. Or, well, my name's... My name's AG4997 called... forgot his name already. Cole. Cole Phelps. Boom. Let's go down the stairs we go. Where it was stop. nobody knows. All right, let's open this car. I mean, wow. Let's open this door. He's going to his ugly ass car. Come on, get in. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How you do that? I'll give him something better. Always something better. All right. Oh, dude, come on. I'm trying. I'm not trying. I'm gonna get that five star in each and every single one. Look at that, man. This is so close. It's not even that far. Let's go. Boom. I was going faster than that. But you know what? I really don't care. Look at that girl. She's smoking. Don't you know smoking can kill you? Takes five years out of your life. Remember that. Detectives, over here. What up, Officer Cole Man? Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of Y'all didn't hear that. The street car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No. It's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. All right, let's go check. Let's go talk to the optician dude. You should take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. Can I look at his hat? Yeah, I can look at his hat. This is an amazing hat, Phelps. Tell me if it's related. Apparently, it's not. The hat is not related whatsoever to this victim. I ended on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. How is he going to lie on his face? Then he's still going to have that perfect face, you know? It, it looks like nothing hit him, even though he's all bloody. Let's go check that pocket right here. What we got here? What we got? We got life insurance. Addison has life insurance. He says, what the fuck? Whoa, 16,000. I don't know if he's swearing because that's too little or that's too much. Let's look at that wallet. We can notify next of kin. How do you know if he's married? What does it say? 
Uh, I don't even think it says it's married. Ah, it says marriage. Okay. 36 year old, too. Let's take that money, Cole. Look at those $3 bills. We're so rich. Take it, Cole. You might use those $3 bills to on a bus. So I don't know. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Those things are killers. Aren't you gonna say anything? There you go. He traveled a good 20 feet. Whew. He flew, my man. He flew. He wasn't looking back. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. All right, let's go. Let's go check out A. So the driver managed to break before the impact. All right, now we go get that one thing that I know where it is. Let's go. Let's go get that. No, oh, it's a knife. Yo, I said it. I said it before you guys could even hear. Come on, I get the words. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. So what next? Witness statements next. We know we've got the girl as an eyeball, but we should check the bar as well. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, I think I got everything. I'm not even sure. Let's go. He's all yours, detective. What up, girl? My name's David. Cole Phelps, I mean. Cole Phelps. Yes. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. So, Miss Sharon Perry, I'm gonna call you Pear Pear. So, what did you really see? Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Oh, shit. That was like the slowest. Wow. Okay, you're true. There's... Then what happened? There's, I can't even I tell you. I car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Now, did you see the vehicle? Since you saw him got hit, obviously. So can you describe the vehicle to me? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. I'm surprised you know because I wouldn't have. I would have been like, it's red. It's a red car. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. What about the argument that you said you heard? What was it? Tell me more about the argument. There you go. Basically what well, I said. There were two voices. Man and a woman. That's all. Oh, that's amazing. That really is. Look at this. You want to see, guys? Three. See, it said three and then it's two. It's like it doesn't make sense. I told you it was going to happen. Oh, no. Well, I told it to myself. But I deleted that video now, so. Oh shit, wait, what? Why are you holding Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People look at that dude, he's just looking at us. They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. 
Why do you go into like movie mode? Tender. You work the rest of the room. Oh, look at that newspaper. Let's go get it. Shrink to the stars. Promise mental breakthrough. It's always 14. I feel like that dude has something to do with a lot of things. A lot of things about this game. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney. Look wow, I was... I was getting really excited about not that happening, but you know, I can never get excited about anything. Patient. What's happening? What's happening? To keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor. Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually of benefit to society at large. Whoa, that was uh, very interesting stuff about being addicted to drugs. I think that's what I was talking about. Alright, yeah, what up, my man? I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the I'm gonna call you Lynch. Lynch Mob. Ice Cube. Where is the owner? Remember the name. He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. So, Lynch Mob. About that hit and run that happened right outside your goddamn door. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy Stuck in here, all I heard was the impact. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. How do you know the victim? Do you know the victim? There you go, yeah. Cole. I know what you mean. Mr. Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Ah, ha ha. Funny joke. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. How the hell are you going to be like, he come with his wife? Where the hell is his wife then? A witness overheard an argument. <laughs> Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a He looked hurry away. He's like, oh, what is shit. going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. Real They've close. Been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo, the owner. How about when the businesses? get together that doesn't even make sense I, low, I don't even know what joint business even means I'm, I'm guessing it means something like two more two or more how long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar who knows I just served the drinks my lying ass look at you you look to the side too he's like oh shit hope he doesn't notice me like come on Bartender okay I don't have proof things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. 
Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm Lynch gonna need you to sign a statement of a patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. I don't even know what the hell that means. Love tap? Like, quit and quit it type of stuff? <laughs> Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thank you. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Some break. How the hell there's only gonna be one car, that exact model, and have those three words? Like, come on, no. I feel like that's like strictly improbable. Not impossible, improbable. Like, it's, it's just, no, there, there's gonna be more than one. Get in the car, my man. Where are we going, where are we going, Princeton? It's not, let's go to Sheldon. What up, Sheldon? No, no, I don't wanna go to his. Nah, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Let's go to Pountain. Let's go to Pountain Residence. I'm done. Let's go here. Whoa, dude. Come on. You saw me. I'm a cop. when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in the war after their buddies got hurt. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows? Sounds like bullshit to me. How close is that? What the? That's real far. How many closer to? What the hell is this? Wow, Shine Resident is right there. What's the difference? Like, really? Are you serious? I'm not gonna go all the way over there. Uh, just take a left and go up. Okay, I'm not going to Sheldon's. No, we're not going. To we're not going there. Maybe if it was like a left and then I go straight a little bit, but no, I gotta go more. All for this dude is his left and then this right. Oh, see? Bam, I already found it. I'm so good at this game. Boom. Take that right. And then hope the car doesn't hit me. No, no car hit me. And then let's go into this building that looks like it should be part of like bigger buildings. Feels weird. It doesn't even look like a neighborhood. But it's the passing resident at 4.49 a.m. Super early if you ask me. Super early. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Oh, yo, my bad. I didn't pay attention. Can I look at your house? I like how she says nothing as I just walk through her house. That's that's nothing that's important. That's nothing important either. I'm low, just walking through her house. Look, see that should be important. That knife. Maybe it's the same knife as the other thing. Dinner for two apparently. She's like, I'm just walking inside her house. And she doesn't really care. She's like, Yep, you can keep on looking. Doesn't mean you're gonna find anything. That's beer. Beer is not important. That's a couch. I don't know why you have a couch right next to this. Like, what are you gonna do? Sit down after you're done wasting your money? Oh, that's locked. I've never checked through there. I just always open. No! Open this door. Excuse me, lady. Why is there a door locked here? Explain. 
Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and I... beg I... your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. That's the mother effort that had the door locked. Nice. Why are you gonna come out of nowhere? The grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe More that. than friends, if you know what I mean. I hint, hint, wink, wink. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Almost, though. We still have a little bit. You know, just because. He's mean. Does he deserve to die? Who really gives us that choice? That's what we should be thinking about. Alright, so the hit and run accident. You were there. What happened? Explain. Did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Sounds like bull, but I don't have no thing to lie. So let's put that. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. So the nature of the argument. What were you arguing about that was so important? You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Oh, excuse me. I'm talking about the exact date. You literally did not answer my question whatsoever. Admit it. You were baiting him. Pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. So you thought about doing it? Is that what you meant? <laughs> Alright, so how do you know this uh, dumbass over here? The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Sounds like bullshit. Look at you. You can't even lie. Just look me in the eye. Look at the big ass eyes. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Whoa. I'm trying to hurt my feelings over here. Whoa, where is it? Oh, it's on the second one. You increase the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, pinochle, you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. How about that door?